Our facility received a special request from a customer who would like 50 brake pedals made for his racing company. So we went about fulfilling this project using a casting method. Casting has a few advantages and disadvantages. Some advantages of casting are that you can create very complex shapes and the parts can have cavities in them. And some disadvantages are that there are potential deforms and defects in the parts such as voids or porosity. So for this project, we went about choosing sand casting as our method of making the materials. With sand casting, um, we are going to use fine grain synthetic sand, and it has a very nice mixture of 90% sand, 3% water, and 7% clay. We will offer three different methods of casting. Die casting, investment casting, and sand casting. Each comes with a short list of advantages and disadvantages. First, die casting. Die casting is great for working with metals that have a low melting point, and also, it's great for building tools that have a low tolerance as far as its dimensions. Die casting has a list of disadvantages as well. These include the fact that it is often used for machining multiple parts, hundreds and thousands, whereas our customer only needs 50 parts. This is a cost that we cannot take to the consumer. Next, investment casting. Investment casting, again, is great for keeping a low tolerance in regards to its dimensions. Investment casting is also good for working with flexible designs. So if there were, it needs to be a change in the design, investment casting is a great way to go. Unfortunately, investment casting takes a very long time to get from production to the shelves. So we would not be able to offer the customer the product in a timely fashion. This also adds to cost and also adds to the impatience of the customer. Last but not least, sand casting. This is the option that we decided to go with. Sand casting offers flexible dimensions and also offers a great repeatability in the fact that you can make several parts with the same mold. Sand casting is also more commonly used for small numbers of parts, such as the 50 part order that we will order from our customer. Sand casting does come with its disadvantages as well. Sand casting is oftentimes not used to create some of the small curves and tolerances and fillets that you can see in our part. For this, through some research, we were able to discover that sand casting, such as the methods that we will describe later in this video, will be able to handle the small curve filleted edges of the brake pedal. To see more of that, please click the link here. Thus, sand casting was the best option for our situation. Our customer had a requirement of a piece that had a yield strength of 25,000 PSI and an ultimate strength of 35,000 PSI. So with this in mind, we decided to choose Aluminum A356, which has a yield strength of 30,000 PSI and an ultimate strength of 40,000 PSI. This aluminum is composed of 7% silicon, 0.3% magnesium, and trace elements of iron and zinc in concentrations of less than 0.1%. Some advantages of this aluminum is its lightweight, its castability, low melting point, and its rapid cooling rate. When designing the mold, we had to plan for this rapid cooling rate. So we decided to remove the two holes on either side of the pivot point. This allows the metal to complete the mold before freezing. We also had to, since we decided to use a fine grain sand, the addition of a vent was necessary. All right, aluminum A356. We mainly use that because is mainly good for automotives and aerospace. Um, and since it's good with automotives and aerospace, uh, the braking pad for it is a very great choice. Um, to get rid of this part, which is over here, we use a table saw. And to show you that, press it over here to this link. The two holes right here are mainly used are in the core. Um, to get this hole, um, we basically use for the machining, and mainly because for the customer satisfaction, we, that's why we chose 0 0.4. Um, for everything else, you can just sand, grind, and buffer the part just to when finishing the, the uh, finishing touches. 